Good morning and thank you for joining us this morning on PLOS TV Africa's Off the Press where we bring you the major headlines making the news in our national dailies. I am Benny Ock. And we'll start off this morning with the Punch newspaper. The Punch newspaper has in it the very first headline, Federal Government Pumps 1.7 Trillion Naira into Privatized Power Companies. And that's on page 27 of the Punch newspaper, Serap orders back TI as Nigeria dips in graft rating. States panic as Lassa fever death toll hits 24. And federal government PNID resume $9.6 billion battle in London today. Page 14 of the Punch newspaper. Operation Amotekun, governors meet Oshibajo to back exercise with law. Malami said he was misquoted on Amotekun's status, says Akiru Dolu. And constitution does not recognize regional security outfits, says the AGF. Two die by hanging for a Kitika robbery. Robbers murder restaurateur for reporting looting of home. And poop is abandoned school as the Lagos court clashes. Still in the punch this morning, Oyo asks AGF to stay clear of LG dissolution. Gunmen shoot trial medical practitioner. And last in the punch, our kid sticks out of court settlement on disputed line. And joining me this morning, well, of the press for their in-depth analysis, I have political analyst Akinkbelu Ajidanu. Thank you for joining us, Akinkbelu. Yeah, and also political analyst Abayomi Oke Ashiwaju. Good morning, good morning to you, Good morning. Now, let's get talking this morning. I mean, the, um, the Amoteku seems to cut across all the major headlines. Mm -hmm. um, your reaction to this, the governors meet Oshimbajo to back exercise with law. Is this like putting the, the horse before the cart? I mean, like what they should have done before now? Because there's there been so much controversy around this issue. What was done? What wasn't done? The legality of it and all that. Let, let's take your reaction. All right. Absolutely, you're right. Yeah. Uh, because um, in most of the states that we have in Nigeria, they have um, these agencies that are in charge of um, traffic control. For example, in Ogun State, we have trees. In Lagos, we have LASMA. And then in some other states like that, what brought these agencies into limelight? It was through a law made by the state assembly. So if, Preventure, we now want to have a um, security outfit, um, codenamed Amotekun or Hamad Tekuns, as we may call it, actually, yeah. All we need to do is to get the nod of the state assembly. That's why they are there, to make laws for the purpose, for the benefit of the state. Yeah. So if Ogun State goes ahead to make the state legal state, the same applies to Ekiti, Ondo, and then, you know, Oshun, and uh, which other state. All they just need to do is to harmonize. So in each of the states, there is, an, uh, there is a law that established or that backs up yeah. Um, the Amotekun, Operation Amotekun. So the, all, all we just need to see is, uh, is a function of um, having a unified um, objective. Yes. Of, you know, of all these, uh, I mean, in all these um, southwestern states. So mm. I think the, the, the right thing to do is what they are now about to do. Okay. And I'm glad that um, the HGF of the six states, they've actually met, even the speakers of the six states they've met so that um, accelerated um, assent can be given to the bill when proposed yes. by the executive. So they should just go back to drawing board. And About me, and any reaction to this? Well, I, I agree with what you said initially, that this is what they should have done initially before okay. they started with yes. this, because it's a case of, like you said, putting a um, horse before, before the car. Before the, yeah, because um, they, initially it was thought to be like a political agenda, but and clearly it's still, it's still, yeah, it's still being perceived that way because yes. you know they, they they didn't approach it the right way and they, it was a rush to kind of you know further ulterior motives yes. but then clearly clearly the law is taking precedence in this case and we just right. Let, let's put a little bit on Mackinday. Um, okay. okay you're going to say something uh, yes, yes. that um, they, they, they do rush into it because i remember them in the middle of last year they had um, a regional security meeting where the IGF even um, you know gave a paper in Ibadan, yeah. it was even the one that suggested that um, they should go ahead and uh, you know implement community policing. Yeah. And so, of course, Amotekun is a. Is but a, you know, it's been fallout. said, and it's been clearly said mm. that they never consulted with the AGF in, um, in all of this. The yes, the met, general. Yeah, the, now yes. I'm talking about okay. the IGP, the Inspector the IGP, General okay, of the Police. Now. police yes. The Inspector General of the Police yeah. was the was at that meeting in Ibadan. Sometimes last year, the middle of last year. So, no, do they even necessarily need to contact the AGF? <laughs> In the federal state, it needs state. to be recognized by law, though. Uh, no, if, yes, if, no, if it not to federal done, law. At least proper, we have state law. In a proper manner, they can actually do it from the state level because it pertains to the security of the state. The governors are the chief security officers yeah. of each state. They receive what we call security votes for for to, to you know to, to protect their citizens. So why can't they go ahead and you know take steps that would actually um, 
you know, uh, guarantee the okay. security right. of right. Let's let move away from Mamotekun right okay. now. I mean, it's, an, it's an unfolding story as yeah. it is. Yeah. Now, um, the dissolution of the local government by um, or your state governor, mm. Makinde, and the AGF's reaction to it. Let's, let's put on that a little bit. And he has asked the AGF now to stay clear of of the dissolution of, of the local government um, committees and administrations. What, what's your take on that? All right, there are two sides to it. Yes. Let, me, let me speak from um, this angle first. Do we have an AGF at the federal level? We equally have uh, probably um, uh, an attorney general in the state, sometimes um, doubles as the chief justice of that state. What is the chief justice of your state saying? as against this issue. Because the issue is in court, as we speak. Yes. It's still now, an there are, there case. Are several, there are several cases in court, as against yeah. this. One of it is that, um, I've been issued, there was a case, even before, that was during um, uh, Alawa Kala's tenor, that, uh, that no election should take place at the local government level. So that was why the man used caretaker committee throughout his tenor. Mm. Now, when Ajimobi came on board, Ajimobi went to court, he sought a court injunction to say, okay, go ahead and uh, you know conduct this election. election but Mackinde is saying that no that injunction or that judgment wasn't right according to him and that was why he said that was why he dissolved them however even before he dissolved them there's another court case where the go the chairman the local council the local government um, executives and the likes they already perceived that when when Mackinde comes on board he's going to dissolve them they approach the court restraining this governor from dissolving them and yet, Ajimobi, I mean, um, what's his name? The current governor, Mackinde, set aside yeah. that injunction and still went ahead to dissolve them. For me, I feel the chief justice of or your state. But is there any legality in that act? I mean, by, mm. by, by Mackinde, is there any legality in that act? Is there any legality yes. in what? It, you, oh, yes. He has, he has, okay, there are court injunctions. That's yes. exactly what AGF is talking about. Right. That about even yes. at the Supreme yes. Court level, Talking about um, having Kiatika committee at the, at the local government level, that's wrong. So it's current, presently, is in violation of so many court orders. You have any thoughts on this about me? He's pretty much said everything. everything. All right, said. we'll go straight to the Nation newspaper. The headlines in the new, Nation newspaper, government reject TI's anti-gripe ranking. Agency rates Nigeria low. And Nigeria's um, IG orders or your CP to enforce return of SAC council chiefs. Killings can't seek sack of security chiefs. No to lingering insecurity. And Lassa fever death toll rise to 38 in 11 states. Malab Malabu deal, Adoke orders, remanded. Okolonu shot dead. Operation Amotekun, federal government governors strike deal. And also CBN appoints directors. Yeah, not sure I will get my chance. And that's in sports right there in the nation newspaper. Security outfit to align with community policing. States to give legal backing. And attorneys general race panel as speakers give support. Malami insists regional security plan illegal. And government blows 1.7 trillion naira on power sector in three years, says Elro 5. And disputed acquired property, Sarakis families seek out of court resolution with government. Killings can't sack of sick the sack of security chiefs let's put on a security um situation for a moment and the recent killing of um the Khan chairman in andimi Reverend andimi and can't call him for the sacking of security chiefs um this is not the first time we've had a such cause um that people feel that this, the current security chiefs are underperforming let, let me take a reaction about me we'll go with you first okay um i believe that it's actually an, a, like an outrageous reaction to the situation, mm -hmm. but it is not um, unfound in, this, in the way that the Nigerian security in general has been very, very poor. The, the, the policing in general has just not been up to par mm -hmm. with this other countries. And this, this situation is like, the, it's like cutting the wrong wire to a bomb. Okay. It, was it was inevitable, but they just didn't do it right. And so I believe that this is a case where it will make people sit up. It will make the, 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 the Nigerian police sit up, the, the IGs to sit up and know that, okay, we need to start to actually Im, um, implement like security, like we need to take security measures and make sure that people, you know, like do their work and not, because yes. it's almost general knowledge that there's so much corruption in Nigeria. Do you, do you subscribe police. to the calling for the sack of security calling chiefs? Calling for the sack of the security chiefs is not the, um, 
only solution. Let me put it that way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Why did I say so? Okay. If um, if you sack this current security chief, who knows that the one who is coming will not um, also do worse or may not um, pay particular yeah. attention. I think there is so much to be addressed when it comes to the issue of um, security in Nigeria. Do you understand? Yeah. So there is the part that government itself needs to play. You see, I there, there is hardly anything that can happen in a particular environment that the indigenous or the people who stay there will not have a knowledge of what's actually. That's why one of the reasons why Southwestern governors decided to introduce Amotekun. That is, let those who live in that place give, you know, protect themselves because they know the hidden route and all that. Yeah, now, local, local intelligence. Yes, local intelligence. Yeah. Now, give people reason to report some cases. See, there is hardly any security incident that will happen that you will not have an idea, especially those who stay in but that even place. After but if I come out, sorry, my brother, yeah. but if I come out to tell police or come out to tell soldier, am I protected? Am I safe? To give you an hint that something is about to happen, can you please address it? Will you not come back and, you know, will you not come back and, you know, fight back at me that, oh, you are the one who gave that information? I think I read one of the uh, dailies today about such issue where uh, the one who blew a weasel was later, you know, hunted down. Yeah. I think that was okay. The issue of the uh, restaurant, the restaurant owner. Okay, yeah, the you restaurant. You can imagine. Restaurant, so, yeah. if if I'm not well protected, if I know that uh, if I give an yeah. hint to the uh, security agents and I'm not well protected, yeah. I won't go to give them hint. And sure. security works with intelligence. All right. Quickly, let's look at the Vanguard. More deaths in Ondo. Three other states as Lassa fever spreads, and 614 billion naira bailout deductions. We want to pay less. Governors insist. Nigeria records 2,181 vandalized pipeline points in one year. Amote Kunf, confession as Malami differs with Oshimbajo Southwest governors. Outfit the same as aligned with community policy and strategy, Oshimbajo. Amote Kunf, illegal, Malami insists, it stays, Akeo Dolu. Southwest governors must never back down, Afeni Fere, Akintoi, and Agbekoya says, and act laws to back Amote Kunf by Falana. Nigeria drops in global corruption index. And also, MPA declares emergency on Lagos ports. Lime Mohammed woos investors to creative industry. Don't double on all your local government matter. All your governor wants an $11.1 billion Malibu scam. Adoke orders plead not guilty to 42 count charge. Amazingly, yesterday there was a release by Transparency International that said we've um, in the corruption index we're number four. Let's let's put on this a little bit. And we know this administration came in on the mantra on the mandate of the fight against corruption. How well would you say this fight has been? We're number four by Transparency International on the corruption index mm. in in West Africa. All right, let me start by saying that um, Nigerian government and of course EFCC reserve the right to accept or reject any rating. Yeah from any organization, be it national, local, or international. Mm. So if um, EFCC is coming out to say, no, we reject it, of course, uh, if it favors them, they will definitely accept exactly. it. So they reserve that right. Mm. But what is the reality on ground? Mm. The reality on ground is that, oh, we are fighting corruption. How? What result, what result have we achieved? Have we been able to make significant you know, results that mm. people can say, oh, truly, now, the issue of fighting corruption is not is different from what we see here in Nigeria play out. What we see in Nigeria play out is that, oh, you embezzled one billion naira, you refund hundred million, and they say, they give you a pat at the back, yeah. and they say, okay, you are free to go. Is that fighting corruption? Can we please put up administrative, and, um, you know, uh, I think I call it, okay, administrative um, system in place that can guide against corruption, not just about fighting corruption. Yes. Take, for example, are we running our government on e-governance? Are we blocking the loopholes that people see that they use to perpetrate corruption. Yeah. If you go to any government institution today, you can hardly get the simplest thing done without pass, pat, patting out with something from you. These are some of the things that people are looking at. It's not just about uh, arraigning people in court or yeah. chasing um, uh, what, what did they, uh, Yahoo boys and all that, and you say you are fighting corruption. So we really need to put some checks in place okay. that well, will make international decisions see us to be serious. Well, like he said, they, they have the right to say whatever they want to say, accept or deny. But the reality is that, I mean, even look at, was it not, is it channels or punch that now call um, Buhari um, Major, Major General, General as a sign that this is almost not even democratic mm. rule. And the, the whole Oshiban, um, 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 I saw his name. Okay. Um, the U.S. the whole court situation. Okay. Like, Donald Trump. No, no. no the, okay. In in Nigeria, the whole court situation where they dragged. Um, I can't remember his name. Mr. Okay. 
Okay, that, Malami. Or? No, no, that, that he was dragged out from the Supreme Court. Okay, by, okay, um, Showere. Yeah, Showere, Showere yeah, okay. exactly, thank you very much. Showere, and he was dragged out. That, that is not following the, the process yeah. of a democratic rule. Yes. As well as the whole money laundering has just been, it's almost standard where even a lower, a lower man wants to get into power so he can steal money. And Political analyst Akinkme Liu Ajidanho, thank you very much. We're out of time this morning on All the Press. And also Abayomi Oke Ashuaju, thank you very much for your contribution on All the Press. It's a wrap on All the Press this morning. Just keep listening to, keep watching Plus TV Africa. More unfolding as we're going. My name is Benny Ark. Good morning.